Good evening, hello and welcome to this special broadcast. I'm Anusha Soni. The government of West Bengal and TMC as a political party is facing a massive heat and crisis from the investigation agency, whether it's the Enforcement Directorate or the CBI. One after another, top mantris and netas are being raided, some even arrested like Partha Chatterjee and Anupratha Mandi. These are the different leaders, whether it's the coal smuggling scam, the cattle smuggling case, or you have the SSC scam in which crores of rupees cash and jewellery was recovered. The latest to be raided is Mulay Ghoto, the West Bengal Law Minister. TMC, a party that came to power with the image, clean image of Mamta Banerjee, promising good governance. Has these, have these raids, investigation, the cash recoveries dented the image of the party? Will the charges really stick on TMC? Or will the party be able to battle it out politically and legally, more importantly, in the public perception? Will the party be able to end this crisis of credibility? We talk about all these issues in the next 30 minutes. First, a special report. Corruption cracked down deja vu for the Trinamool Congress. Today, it was Maloy Khatak, law minister in Mamata Banerjee's cabinet, facing CBI heat. Seven of his properties raided, including his ancestral home in Asansol, three houses in Kolkata and his ministerial quarters at the Rajbhavan Annexi. Ghatak has long been facing heat for the coal smuggling scam that names Mamata's nephew Abhishek Banerjee among others. I am currently standing at the fourth location in Kolkata. You see those security officials standing right next to the vehicles um, uh, where uh, the, uh, the, the CBI team has now come. BJP calls it law taking its course. Not the first round of raids against TMC leaders charged with kickbacks and benefits from scams, and likely not the last. Less than two months back, CBI raids at properties of then Education Minister Partho Chatterjee over the SSC recruitment scam created a sensation. Wards of cash and jewellery and property papers tumbled out of cupboards. Chatterjee's aide, Arpita Mukherjee, from whose properties many of the recoveries were made, came under the scanner. Besides recruitment favours Chatterjee had doled out to his family and friends, both Chatterjee and Mukherjee are under arrest as the probe continues. In August, TMC strongman Anubrata Mandal hit the headlines for an alleged role in the cattle smuggling scam. Bank fixed deposits worth nearly 17 crore held by Mandal, his wife and daughter have been frozen, alleged proceeds from the scam. Even as it protested what it called the center's vendetta politics, the TMC had chosen to distance itself from Partho Chatterjee, maintaining that the party had zero tolerance for corruption. Amid allegations of misuse of central agencies by the center, a refrain among other non-BJP parties around the country too. telling us that this is a subject. But with one set of raids after another against TMC bigwigs allegedly revealing massive wrongdoings down the years, the embarrassments just mount and mount. Credibility itself becomes a casualty. Public anger too spills over. How much longer can the TMC duck and weave?
Well, that's the key question for the Trinamool Congress. How are they going to battle this out legally and also in the public perception? Because simply the argument of political vendetta would not stick. Look at a case like Partho Chatterjee. You had cash recoveries and TMC itself distanced uh, from this uh, entire matter. Graft heat on TMC Netas. Here's Anubrata Mandal, the heavyweight leader of the TMC. Multiple raids by the CBI arrested. Uh, he has been denied bail on multiple occasions by the court as well. He continues to be in custody. Not to forget Partha Chatterjee, the Industry and Commerce Minister arrested by ED Staff Selection Commission. Of course, the Education Department was the department that uh, was uh, looking at the graft charges. You also have Manik Bhattacharya. He's an MLA. He's been questioned by Enforcement Directorate in uh, one of the cases. You have Parish Chandra Adhikari. He's the MOS Education booked by CBI. Once again, the SSC scam in which Partha Chatterjee is also allegedly involved. You have Subodh Adhikari, yet another TMC MLA. There have been multiple CBI raids, the chit fund scam, and the alleged involvement of the TMC leaders is the point here. So, as we pointed out to you, not one, not two, but multiple netas of the TMC are under scanner right now. And these are not cases which they can simply brush away by saying that, look, this is political vendetta and witch hunt. There is actually some evidence that has been found, say, in the case of Apartha Chatterjee or Anubrata Mandal, and the courts have also repeatedly denied them bail. That's the key question we asked tonight, that how will the Trinamool Congress really battle this perception crisis, this credibility crisis? And well, the entire image of the TMC, Mamta Banerjee, who came to power with the promise of uh, clean governance, has then been be, uh, affected by the CBI raids and what the Enforcement Directorate is also now looking at. Well, joining us on the broadcast is our panel of guests. We have Saurav Sikdar, who is the spokesperson of the West Bengal BJP, Manujit Mandal, the spokesperson of the TMC, is also with us on the show. We also have Loknath Chatterjee. Uh, who's the lawyer at the High Court. He'll be joining us in a few moments from now. We also have Mr. Pratim Ranjan Bose, who's a political analyst. Manojit, first to you. Um, one after the other, the netas of the TMC, ministers, these are sitting ministers who are under the radar of the CBI and the Enforcement Directorate. Look at the case like Apartho Chatterjee. Simply the party can't say that this is political witch hunt and vendetta because the party itself has distanced from some tainted netas. Will that be the case with your law minister as well? So I think absolutely. I think this is our, you know, uh, key point that BJP and, of course, uh, their biggest, one of the biggest political leaders, I think we call him the biggest papu of Indian politics at this point in time. For him, he has got two playthings, CBI and ED, has no power to fight TMC on the streets, on the grounds, in people's court. Is only fighting us in the CBI's court and ED court. I'm talking about, of course, the Home Minister of this country. Come and fight us with people's mandate, with people's blessing. You can't. Abhi okay. baad doso paar, sat paar ho gaye. Nee, Manoji ji, Manoji ji. Manoji ji. Manoji ji. Manoji ji. Yes, yes. You won the elections. Yes. You're absolutely right there. They couldn't defeat you yes. electorally. You're absolutely right there. Yes. But if you're yes. saying this is simply about political vendetta or they're trying to re yes. take revenge I'll or blackmail you. the TMC, please let me I'll finish my you. point. I'll what would you say about a case of Partho Chatterjee? And, and another point to which you can respond, there's something called a collective responsibility. If your law minister, education minister, MLAs of the party are being raided by the CBI and Enforcement Directorate, there are recoveries which are being made, then there's something gone terribly wrong with the government. I'll tell you. Yes. There are three chief ministers, one hope minister of BJP, who, has, who have got allegations of corruption against them, were raided by CBI at one point of time, were questioned by CBI at one point of time. I'm naming them. Heman Bishra Sarma is one of them. Hmm. There is an opposition leader in Bengal by the name of Shubhan Dehodikari, whom I call the smaller Papu of Bengal can't fight election on his own. I mean, his party strength is diminishing day by day. You, if you, if you are fair enough, neutral, for argument's sake, I'm saying that there are evidences against some of some of these leaders. 
hmm. argument sake, not accepting, not acknowledging. Okay. But the same kind of evidences exist against Subhendi Odhikari, Hemant Bishya Sharma, and Sivdas Singh Chauhan. <laughs> what are you doing okay. with them? Manoji, Vyarna is the question Manoji, of Manoji, the fallacy of your argument is, the fallacy of your argument is, that somewhere there is an acknowledgement of a certain degree of guilt. I'll tell you how. By simply pointing out, sir, so let me finish. You can you can refute me if you disagree. Uh, by simply saying that there is similarly things wrong with the BJP, and because they are in power, they are not doing anything about it. Are you trying to say that because you know you don't have the control of the central agencies, that is why you're being prosecuted? Uh, you're not claiming your innocence. You're simply using what about tree here, Manojit? If I if I if I talk about facts, madam, yes, sir. If they sound whatever tree for you. That's your problem. I'm giving you the hard data facts. No. Subindu Dikari was Subindu Dikari was shown to be taking money. No. This is a fact. I am Subindu going to take that question to the BJP. By, That's a pertinent question by, you've raised. By, yes. I will take that Subindu question to the BJP. Named, I, again, I repeat, Home Minister's deputy Nitish Pramanik. He was charged of all kinds of corruption cases. I will take murder, that question to the murder, BJP. But, but Manoji, you have to answer minister. me on merits. You have Partho Chatterjee. You have the I'm law answering. minister who's being raided. There are fair, questions. Uh, the, no, I, I will answer the way I understand it, madam. Not the way you want me to answer. No, I am answering but your But sir, questions. my I'm only humble request is that you have yes. to speak on the merits of the case, won't you? What, yeah, do you think these 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 cases are uh, all false? Then CBI must be held accountable. The Supreme Court of India must be held accountable okay. because Shubhendu Dekari's case was filed under the direction of the Supreme Court. So if Partho Chatterjee, if Partho Chatterjee was clean, Partho then why Chatterjee, did your why did your party pa distance uh, itself I, I repeat, from Partho Chatterjee? Yes, not just distance. We have sacked him because we gave people the benefit of doubt. Because the mountain of cases were found in one of his closet's house, not in Partha Chatterjee's house. We have given the people's benefit of doubt. We listen to the people's voice. What are BJP doing with okay. these criminals? Okay, let I'm me naming them let as me criminals. let me bring in Saurav Sikdar, the spokesperson of the West Bengal BJP, also into the discussion. Saurav, well, it's an oft-repeated argument. We have spoken about it many times, but I don't think it loses its sheen or relevance. That there are many leaders from the TMC who have gone to the BJP and now are celebrated as BJP leaders, but they had very serious charges against them. Good that you're going after TMC leaders, good that you're prosecuting them if there is evidence against them, but what about your own house? Well, I just want to answer what Manojit Dada just uh, uh, alleged. Hmm. That Hemanto Vishwa Sharma ji has got a clean sheet from Supreme Court. I hope Manojit Dada will not say that Supreme Court is also a wing of BJP. Hmm. And uh, uh, Sivraj Singh Chauhan, he was, uh, he was, after his tenure, he was there as a leader of opposition. So does Congress or any other government who are in the power can frame in even in a, in a single corruption charge? And, you know, I can't understand Manojitda's problem about Subhendu Adhikari because he defeated Mamta Banerjee. Mamta no, Banerjee but never Saraj lost ji, any election. Saraj ji, Suvendu Adhikari did have serious charges against him before he jumped ship to the to the BJP. You can't deny that. No, no. Well, so if if he is guilty, court is there. Why don't they approach no, the court? No, but the TMC is saying no, that why? you have the CBI and Enforcement Directorate in your hands no. and you're going easy on these people. CBI, That's what they're saying. CBI, CBI and ED is a central agency central agency of India government. It's not a wing of BJP. Hmm. I'm not a spokesperson for CBI or ED. Hmm. But yes, if, a, if any agency is not doing their job, if, if anybody thinks so, why don't they approach the court? High court is there, Supreme Court is there. Why, why don't they uh, uh, go to uh, the court and approach them? That hmm. uh, they, are, they, are, they are impartial, they are doing for a political party. Hmm. Whenever they approach the court, they got a slap. You hmm. know what? In today, also Malai Ghatak's house and other uh, so many places, CBI hmm. is conducting a raid. Hmm. And you know what is the people of West Bengal saying? Chor dharo jele bharo. Matlab, people are saying catch the thief and throw them into the jail. So let the agency do their work. If they are, they are clean. 
they are not guilty why why they are afraid but sorry ji you have not responded to my question a lot of tmc leaders including suvendu adhikari when they jumped ship they had heinous charges against them why why doesn't the agency and you're saying that the can agencies I, are doing I, a fair job you? manoj ji i'll come to you why aren't the agencies showing the same level of enthusiasm and energy when it comes to the bjp leaders i think that's a fair question to ask no no definitely agency should be should be fair and impartial but if anybody is thinking again i am repeating hmm. if anybody is thinking that agency is not doing their job hmm. they are wrong why okay. don't they go to the appellate authority okay Did okay any... manoj uh, a quick response from you and then i'll bring in mr pratim ranjan bose also into the discussion if there no, is no, so no. much wrong with cbi and ed go to a court and tell the court they'll take care of it the, the, these investigations were you know happening under the direction of the court and the court doesn't investigate only cbi investigative agency has to do it right hmm. and give getting clenchy doesn't mean that the charges are not there and then you know, i can say that these people are not even guilty you are only you know after them neither of these people including partha chatterjee do you don't depend partha chatterjee none of them are guilty so you are not so you are not going to accept the verdict of supreme Please. court even hmm. we supreme court has supreme court has said that partha chatterjee anuprath mandal are the guilty hmm. Hmm. and the fact is that you are trying to your trial not even okay one at a time please one at a time you are, time, are, you are sort of the let him finish let manojit finish yeah okay okay anusha the bigger point is very simple hmm. the maximum challenge has been given to modi and mr shah is by tmc and mamta banerjee mamta banerjee under the leadership of abhishek banerjee and herself This is the biggest challenge okay. for BJP in 2024. Mr. Pratim so Ranjan Bose, sir, I I want you to come into the discussion. BJP, you have BJP, the TMC BJP, and the BJP, BJP, and I don't think till we have a verdict from a court of law, this debate is going to settle. When have any verdicts settled any political debates? But talking about the public perception of the TMC, the manner in which TMC had to swing into action, take action against Partho Chatterjee, and they can claim political morality out of it, but there was also a huge concern about the perception and the image of the party. Uh, towards people at large uh, and do you think that's being dented by the kind of raids or the kind of action which is being taken by cbi or ed in multiple cases uh forget the raids yeah let's just get into whatever already been established hmm. i think the court has passed at least three judgments so far one minister's daughter was wrongly inducted given a job and the job has been taken away Two, two sixty-nine persons, primary teachers, hmm. lost their job after working for nearly five years. Hmm. And three, court is now asking the government to give to to recruit as teachers, you know, from from the panels which already came out to be the actual panels and those who were denied and some people were wrongly given jobs. Hmm. So here are three. clear evidences of a government that that completely uh, you know that not merely failed its duty hmm. you know it can happen uh, i can always accept that yeah there can be uh, things there can be some wrong doer somewhere but it is not a case like that these hmm. people have been agitating on the street for years and these everyone in the state every journalist were uh, almost aware of something happening there but nothing 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 happened the government didn't act it is only when everyone went after even when the court single judge bench uh, given its verdict government went to the division bench the mm. division bench upheld the single judge bench order mm. so so the government was not ready to accept mm. about perception nowhere in india 50 crores of cash came out in th- that manner yeah so that is already dubbed as ed's biggest uh, you know cash haul Yeah. So let's not talk about the perception. And mm-hmm. about uh, there are many other things, many other cases. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, let's not uh, talk about it. I think, uh, uh, <laughs> I think if you just go to the street and ask, it has become a pawn shop joke. The last point is, I simply don't understand this uh, call for settling the uh, settling the war on the street. Now, see, cheat fund scam. Yeah. I'm I'm a citizen first. then a journalist yes. then a political analyst yes. so i want corruption to be freed i earn my good money tax paid money hmm. cheat fund scam 
CBI came much later. In fact, there were a lot of court cases. It was a Congress leader who was fighting for CBI. So CBI came, if I'm not wrong, at least after an year or so, yeah. a year or two. Yeah. No. In between, it was state government's SIT. Hmm. What did they do? Why these people, whomsoever Trinomul is today talking about, hmm. be it uh, Mr. Rodhikari or whosoever, why hmm. didn't they go after Mr. Shogat Rai, hmm. is their MP. Hmm. He was seen taking cash. No, Pradeep, Pradeep da, you, you've raised is, some is you've like, raised some very pertinent questions. I'm going to give Manush right. also an no, opportunity. No, last last yes, point. Sir. Yes, last sir, go point ahead. Go ahead. Is that I don't understand this call for settling it on the street. What is that? Are no, we, I think I think that's just a political hyperbole. I don't think it has any meaning. I agree. Manoj, I'll come to you. But we also have Loknath Chatterjee on the show with us. I want to bring in briefly into the discussion and then I'll give you the opportunity to respond. Uh, Mr. Chatterjee, a question to you. These All these arguments about this being a political witch hunt and vendetta are clearly not legal arguments. But when you look at the kind of raids or the questioning which is right now happening against the sitting law minister, Legally speaking, what does the case really look like? The cattle smuggling case is a bunch of multiple cases which are going on, and the ambit of this case has been very, very wide. No, you you are right. You know, actually, if you look at it in that manner, if you look at uh, all of these, most of these cases which are being investigated by CBI, hmm. uh, in 2018, the state of uh, West Bengal they withdrew the general consent uh, which is given to the, under the Delhi Special Police Establishment Act. Hmm. So, you know, you have a lot of CBI investigations being uh, given by the Calcutta High Court and in uh, some matters by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. So yes. therefore, you have the courts which are primarily at uh, the forefront, at the vanguard, which are handing over cases to the CBI for investigation. But if you look at it, you know, if you look at really ask the common man on the street, they'll tell you it's like uh, too late. So therefore, you know, everyone believes this should have been done like long back. So uh, that's the common refrain which you hear uh, mm. all around. But mm. if you look at it, really, you know, I mean, uh, the net can be spread far more wider and all of it, the way it's happening, in fact, uh, as, when, a, as a lawyer and the case that you've seen so far, of course, we don't know everything that the agency has. But do you see evidence prima facie? You no, know, if you look at it, uh, you know, uh, from what's been uh, out there, you know, hmm. in, in the open, you know, at least as far as the uh, this uh, cattle smuggling case is there, hmm. the charge submitted, the coal scam case is there. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, the money difference. And if you look at it, you know, really, uh, the amount of money which these guys have generated, yeah. you know, in a span of time, yeah. where all money comes from. So Disproportionate this is wealth. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah. also, if you look at the case, uh, you know, the number of, uh, you know, these rates are like, you know, happening a bit late, late point in time. And CBI does not do, if I'm I may... Sure, I'm, I'm sure Manoji I disagrees. I want to bring him into no, the discussion. No, I'll tell you, CBI yeah. does not... Can I, can I respond? Yeah, Manujida, Manujida, one, two, two things. Let's forget BJP for uh, now. You know, I think there are some very important points that Mr. Pratim Ranjan Bose and Mr. Loknath Chatterjee has made. That there are court order in place. That when the recruitment was happening, the teachers' recruitment was happening, there were illegalities that happened. You cannot deny the fact that 50 crore was recovered. If you're saying that there is a problem with Mr. Suvendu Adhikari, go to a court, file a petition, seek legal action against them. Your government came to power with certain promises. You owe the people of West Bengal those promises, and I want you to talk from that perspective. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. have you really have delivered on those I have promises? The questions. Are yes, Manoj. Go ahead. We will not definitely talk about the recruitment scam in Karnataka, Vapam in MP, and the you know coal mafias and sand mafias in Haryana in broad daylight while police officer was murdered. You know, for the Nothing for the happened. last two weeks, talk, no, no. for the last two Let weeks, every day on this so, channel I, and I, even I today. Manoji ji, ek baat sun lije. Nee, nee, Manoji ji, ek baat sun lije. Abhi hum logo ne Karnataka sarkar ne real estate mafia ke saath milke kya kiya, kya nahi kiya, uske baare mein hum pichle do hafte se baat kar rahe hain. Bengaluru mein kya dikkat ho rahi hai? BJP sarkar ne wahan pe kya kiya, kya nahi kiya, hum uske baare mein baat kar rahe hain. Now you see that this under water right now and BJP MP out there is eating dosa. You know, that's the kind of but don't say that we're not raising those issues. Manoj, we're, we're raising Vipna. those issues. Yes. And I have, the, uh, I have the moral capital to ask you that question because Please. I asked those questions to the BJP I'll as well. I'll reply to your question. Yes, First go ahead. First of all, if there is at all any scam called cattle smuggling, this scam has to be perpetrated by the central agency, central government, hmm. because border is manned by Amit Shah's forces. Mr. Our Amit Shah is the Home Minister, yes. the... 
yeah i mean he is the home minister our means he is also our minister forces, right yes. yeah. okay so he is his forces must be held responsible hmm. and also the foreign minister these cattle are not throwing to the other side of the border hmm. and they are just going to the uh, other side right hmm. not hmm. that doesn't happen that way hmm. come to the second second uh, you know scam coal scam hmm. this also happens under the nose of the home minister forces called cisa Hmm. What are you talking about? This is coal ministry is held by the central government. Hmm. I mean, I mean, Anubhuta Mandal is not the boss of BSF to you know smuggle all those you know cows out of out of uh, but, the country. But, and if he's doing no, business, no. no, 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 just hang on, hang on, hang on. If he is doing business with cattle, that's a legitimate business in this country. Legitimate business in this I country, kind of business. smuggling is a smuggling is illegal. But, But Manoji, jurisdiction kiska jurisdiction? hai, central Anka? forces ka hai, no, army lagi no, hai ya police lagi hai. Isse ye baat to sabit nahi ho jati na ki mantri ne ghotala kiya ya nahi. Whether your minister is not responsible or not responsible is not dependent on the jurisdiction of any forces. Responsibility lies with the BSF who is manning. 50 kilometers of the border inside our territory you have taken our territory in deep into 50 kilometers Sir, that's why you are please responsible tell me, please tell me please tell me i ask on behalf of the citizens of west bengal what about the clean governance what about the clean governance that your that your government that your I'll leader had you, promised i'll tell you i'll tell you if you, if you allow me to reply our governance depends on mamta this image which was built for 40 years of a toil and blood now it is being handed look at this person who is this who is this person no no nobody is interrupting you manoj ji the go ahead i will give everybody the option to respond mr strategy i'll come to you let them not jitter if they are there on the right footing i am alone and you are four so let me defend let me say i am defending the party and i know how to defend it this party is now being manned by avishek banerji whose rise in indian politics is 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 making bjp shaky that's why he is okay. it is even after him he is a, a young man of 33 he is being called again and again as witness i repeat his family is not even spared okay so i'm 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 about? short of time i'm short of time sorry 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 please come in. yes pratim ji i'll come to you sorry sorry please come into the discussion you are blackmailing the tmc because you couldn't fight them electorally that's what they're saying 30 seconds i just want I just I just want to ask a simple question. Hmm. Monojitha was telling about the image of Bhamata Banerjee. Before this cheat fund cheat fund scam, there used to be a poster in all over the Calcutta, Shatotar Pratik Bhamata Banerjee, Bhamata Banerjee's image. Why this poster is no more there in Calcutta or West Bengal? I just it's a simple question to Monojitha. Why this Chhatotar Pratik Mamata Banerjee's poster? Nahi hai Bengal me. Why nahi dikta hai? Because Mam, after all these things exposed, he, she doesn't have guts to say herself as Chhatotar Pratik, okay. symbol of trust. Okay. This is this is exactly the credibility crisis that we're talking about, Mr. Bo Mr. Bose. Thirty seconds to you, and then I will also bring in Mr. Loknath Chatterjee into the uh, into the discussion. Mr. Bose. Uh, uh, you know i'm i'm an uh, i can i think i can call myself an expert <laughs> on border trade informal trade cattle yes. patty and coal i am yes. born and brought up in durgapur asansol region and i have seen such things the cattle the, you know bsf area until recently was only 5 kilometers how does the cattle come cattle comes all the way i'm not saying only west bengal but from many other states and i studied this subject not in bjp period much ahead and and it cattle trade is 90% a state government or interstate issue nothing else it is and same goes with this coal smuggling that you see in the yeah. ecl area this is particularly in the ecl area yeah. and if you are you know i am not detailing going into the details of things huh. but the way things happen there is completely different than you think of these are not large right. mines in the lokna strategy uh, last point to you the, the argument that situation. that argument that manojit mandal was making is that if there is cattle smuggling happening and there are multiple cases and multiple instances of it the union government should be held accountable because they are the ones who have the jurisdiction to control a crime of this nature see a cattle comes by truck by some transport how does it travel all the way to border simple question Ye But yes how does yes it i i i agree i agree that without Absolutely. without the cooperation or without some kind of nexus between no, different no. authorities it cannot happen 30 seconds I to you mr chatterjee 
Yeah. So if you look at it, the cattle scam entirely uh, was, uh, you know, the C uh, CBI has also arrested some years of officials who were involved. So it's uh, de accusing the minister at the top when there is nothing to show that, you know, some feed, uh, something went back to the minister is, uh, you know, it's, it's not yeah. understand. The racket involves smuggling of thousands of cattle from West Bengal to neighboring Bangladesh. Yeah. You know, through its big border, the big breeds yes. of cattle, cattle from Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, smaller ones from Bengal, they are smuggled. And they cost anywhere between 90 grands to 40 grands. I'm, and I'm sorry, Mr. Chatterjee, I'm going to interrupt you there. I'm short of time, but uh, sort of Sikdar Manujit Mandal, Lokna Chatterjee and Mr. Pratim Ranjan both. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the broadcast. One cannot deny whether political witch hunt vendetta, uh, only time is going to tell which way these cases are going. But there is a serious credibility crisis. Most independent political experts, like the, they were on the show, will tell you that on the streets in the state of West Bengal, the image clearly has taken a hit. With that, it's a wrap from my side. My colleague Shivani Gupta joins you on the other side.